I didn't get into the scene of drugs until probably about, I was in about my 30s, and me and my husband had separated. And when you separate, I guess, everybody comes, like it attacks you, you know, it seems like, you know, and before you know it, you know where to get anything and everything. Um, when I got started on heroin, it wasn't by choice. I had woke up to the guy that I was dating at the time shooting me up. A, a few of my friends, you know, my boyfriend too, also, um, we were all using in an apartment and we were shooting up and um, the person, th this girl that was there, um, she had shot up and she shot up, shot up a little bit too much. And I looked over at her, everybody, because everybody was falling out or whatever. And I didn't do too much to where I was falling out, but I did enough to where I was high, I was all right. But I looked over to where the girl was and her lips started to turn her purple and um, my boyfriend I told him I go look you know something's wrong with her go see you know go wake her and she, she wasn't responding so he got the Narcan and he put it up her nose and it didn't seem like it was working right away so then we went to use another one but then before we were able to spray it she, she came back up and the color came back into her face and she started breathing all right again and she came up, she was alert, but then she got mad because she wasn't high, you know? So you, <laughs> I told her, well, wouldn't you rather be alive than dead? <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, we didn't mean to ruin your high, but we couldn't have that on our conscience, you know? If we wouldn't have had Narcan, more than likely everybody that was in that apartment would have just left her body there and let her be found later on by the police or whatever so we wouldn't have been questioned or been responsible or anything like that. I don't like to remember things that I've been through, like, in, you know, stuff in the past, like my separation from my husband or the time I've been raped or, you know, stuff like that, you know. It's just hard to face that and then to go on every day like nothing happened, you know, and, and live a regular life like people, you know. You feel like an outcast at times, you know, you could be walking with a bunch of people around you and you feel like all eyes are on you, you know, even though they don't know your whole story or they don't know what you've been through or whatever, you know.